one in. That's everything. I think so, yes. That's great. Thanks, Steve. Great, buddy. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Same to you. Goodbye. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. We were just talking with my friend Steve Johansson from Christiansen, Norway. Um, we were talking about party food, and uh, he told us about this great dish called bacalao that they like to eat at uh, celebrations and parties. Any excuse to have friends over, eh? Mm -hmm. So where do you think we should go to get everything? Hey, what about that new place we saw downtown? Uh, the, the local foods mart? Okay, yeah, let's go there. Perfect. We're here today at the local foods mart with owners Julian and Chen Zhu. Hi guys, I'm Tyler, this is Jody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Well, would you like to uh, help us pick out everything we need today in your store for our bacalao? Absolutely. Sure. Come on in. Great, thanks so much. Wow, look at this place. It really looks fabulous, guys. Um, can you tell me a little bit about why you two started your business? There are all these wonderful products all around Barrie. We've got amazing farms, we've got fabulous businesses that produce food uh, all around the area. And we wanted to find a place that was right in the middle, in the heart of the city, that could supply that to the people of Barrie. Well, that's really great. I know I really like to support local businesses myself. Um, do you guys have any special story about uh, why you picked out this specific spot? Well, this was actually in 1890, the Berry Advanced Print Room. Really? Yeah. And then over the years, it's changed hands a number of times. It's now um, Local Foods Mart. Before that, it was a bookstore. Before that, stained glass. And it's, it's always been um, interesting owners and, and a, an interesting story behind all of them. It's wow. great. Thank you so much for having us here today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Do you guys think you can help us pick out what we need? Absolutely. Thanks so much. You sure do. Take half. Yeah. Here, I'll take the other half. There we go. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow, that is really Oh my really god, heavy. is that good. Hi, I'm back online with my friend Steek Johansson from Christiansen, Norway. Um, we're about to make a dish that's commonly made in uh, Norway for parties and celebrations and things like that. Uh, you know, get-togethers. Hi, Steek. Hi, Tyler. You're ready to start the game? Yeah, let's get to it. Sounds good to me. So, um, okay. Jody and I have picked up all the ingredients that you told me about. I've got the salt cod has been soaked, all right? I've got some peppers. Uh, the I've sliced up the potatoes thinly. I've got uh, onion rings here all ready to go. I did get some olives, I've got the um, five cloves of garlic, I've got the tomato paste, and I actually put some parsley here too, just to add a little bit of color to the dish. Okay, sounds good. Okay. I've put uh, on top of the cod, I've put on uh, some onions, and yeah. now I'm uh, going to put the, the potatoes on top of that, is that right? Sort of layer it in? Uh, yeah, you, you start putting everything in layers, fish, then onions, then potatoes. Excellent. And, uh, once you get halfway through the fish and the potatoes and stuff, you just throw in the other ingredients in the middle. Great. The stuff that should go in the middle is what? Like the, the tomato paste and the garlic and uh, olives and things like that? Yeah. Okay. 
Stick it all in there. Sounds great. Put it on medium. Medium? And for how yeah. long? For about two hours. Two hours. All right. Thanks a lot, buddy, and you have a great day. Yeah, you too. Take care and be well. You too. Farewell. We're here to live in the land. Great visiting the local food smart in Barrie. Yeah, the food was phenomenal. Did you taste that salsa? Oh, it was great. Uh, the one was just a little bit too hot for me, though. Oh, come on. Well, I enjoyed that hot sauce. <laughs> it was amazing. Well, what I liked most about the local food smart was that all the stuff that was in there was basically local. Uh, and if it wasn't locally produced, at least it was locally sourced. The cheese? The cheese was amazing. The lemonade, I cannot wait. To have the lemonade. I see drinks in our future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, join us again next time on Living the Life TV. Thanks for joining us.